Hi there gamers, there is so much speculation around the PS Plus free games. I think a different viewpoint could be interesting. In this video we are going to take a look at a few different criteria like the history of games and trends that could determine a more likely outcome. Note that I call it speculation and not predictions or leaks because that is really what this is. In this method we categorize possible free games in genres and look if a pattern existed in the past that may give us some hints uh, on what to expect next. We're also going to look at a few frames for different genres. There is a very interesting trend. Just before I show you my model, hit that red button and bell, please guys. Enjoy this theory and your opinion in the comments will be awesome. For the purpose of this exercise, we have to generalize different games to try and create a pattern. When I refer to action, it includes action adventure and action roleplay games like Batman Darksiders and God of War. A shooter game is any shooter, third person or 2D. A platform game is any platform game like puzzle platform, platform adventure. There are also smaller genres like survival, stealth and tactics that I've ignored for now. Look at the spreadsheet, it appears very random at first but it does give us some hints. The top section gives us free games for 2017 and we notice there are 6 action games, yellow blocks, 5 shooter games, blue blocks, 4 platform games, green, and then 3, horror, three horrors in red blocks. In 2018, there were 8 action games, 3 shooter games, 3 platform games, and 4 horrors. To date, in 2019, we have had 3 shooters, 1 platform, and 6 action games, two of which dropped in September 2019. Is there a hint? Action games are very popular, but let's say it's unlikely to get another one in October. And there's only been one platform game so far in 2019, so, hmm. The next very obvious hint is that we've not had a horror to date in 2019. And in October 2012, we got Resident Evil 5. In October 2016, we got Resident Evil 6. In October 2017, we got the Amnesia Collection. And in October 2018, we got Friday the 13th. Seems like October is a very popular month for horrors. After all, it is Halloween. So if it's going to be a horror, which one will it be? I'm going to throw in three possibilities on the table. Drop your comments, guys, in case you have any different opinions. We saw the name Resident Evil a few times with the October free games. Is it going to be Resident Evil 7? I'm sure a lot of us would like that to happen. Resident Evil 7, or Biohazard, is a fantastic well-designed game that many of us would like to see as free. It was released in 2017 by Capcom, a survival horror filled with mystery and scary humor. It may be a bit new and popular still, but it definitely has a place in my wishlist. Then there is The Evil Within, which was directed by the creator of Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami. The Evil Within was released in 2014 by Tango Gameworks and this could be a strong contender as a free game for October. And then let's throw in one more speculation, The Last of Us. This game was the third best selling game on PS3, selling more than 7 million copies. There are rumors that The Last of Us 2 is being released in October 2019, which could point towards this being the previous version being free. I'm looking forward to seeing what you think guys uh, with your comments down below. Okay, I had a lot of fun compiling this video and hope you enjoyed it. Hit that sub and bell button please guys and I'll see you in the next video.